creating your own bebop language. Coming right up. Hey everybody, Chris G here. Thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share. Appreciate all your support. I want to share some knowledge with you in a positive way to keep you motivated and to keep you having fun. Today we're going to be talking about developing your own jazz slash bebop language. So you hear a lot about language and developing language, developing bebop language or developing jazz language. And what does that exactly mean? What does that, how do you do it? How do you start creating it? Well, today I'm going to show you a quick 2-5 or a short 2-5, meaning a one bar 2-5, and how to start creating language of your own and how to start developing that language. So we got a short 2-5, meaning a one bar 2-5. So that's two beats of a minor chord, two beats of a dominant chord, resolving into a major seventh chord. So today we'll be using C major tenor key, so B flat major concert. And we're going to be doing a 2-5 and resolving to the 1 in B-flat concert. So if you're on tenor, it's D minor, G7 to C. If it concert key would be C minor, F7 to B-flat. All right, so we'll start with something simple so you can start wrapping your ears around it because that's the key, is being able to hear what you're going to play and be able to sing what you're going to play. These are, these are all aspects of learning language and learning the bebop language or jazz language that you need to have down. If not, learning the language is going to be a guessing game for you or being moving on your horn or whatever instrument you're playing is going to be a guessing game. So we're going to start, I'll st I'll, I'm going to start on the third of the two chord. So for, for me, that's this note here. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. That's the third of the, th of the two chord. So that's, you guys got it? E flat concert, okay? E flat concert, so ba, ba, I'm gonna create a line in my head and sing it. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, that's a very diatonic line. I'm gonna, I'll put a little, print, uh, I'll show you what that, what that is below me real quick. So that is just this. <laughs> I'm not a great singer, but that was pretty close to that. Ba ba da 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 da. Now, that is a piece of language you can use over a two five one. All right, that's a it's very diatonic, very pretty, and it works. And now you can develop that language. So let's let's change it just slightly. I'm gonna I'm gonna sing the first part. I'll say the same. Da 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 da. And you heard that that separate that one note in there sounded different, right? Da 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 da. Again, I'm not a singer, but this is just to show you the process that I go through to kind of develop this language. Here we go. Again, pretty close singing. Now I'm not. I don't have perfect pitch. Um, I don't have perfect relative pitch. I'm just. This is how I create this oral kind of communication between me and, and my instrument since I can't sing and play at the same time. That's that's what's kind of going on in our heads. And doing this slow, as you can see, I'm not I'm not doing it with a metronome. I'm creating this language. I'm trying to hear what I'm gonna play and develop that. And then I will I will move this into other things, other like moving it into tunes and things like that. But right now I'm just showing you how to develop that that language within your own with a, with what you're hearing and then you can play it, you can express it out on your instrument. That's what that's what the main goal of here is today. So let's let's do another um, advancement of that. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit and and change up the first part a little bit. Ba ba da ba da 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 ba da. Let me see if I got that. <laughs> Okay, pretty close. That high note, I was kind of a little guessing on that. So, 
ba ba da ba da ba da 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 another diatonic one and we can change we can change the uh we can start advancing that ba ba da ba da ba da 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 right now that da da that sound right there it even though i'm not playing chords behind me that should be a very familiar sound a, a very that <laughs> can't talk that should be a very familiar sound that is a flat nine sound over a dominant seven so and it's resolving into the five of the one chord so let's try a different one with a little more chromaticism here we go ba ba da 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 do da do da ba ba da 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 do da do da Let's see if I get how close I am. Not a singer. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm not a great singer. So that's just a little bit of kind of, I heard some sidestepping. Like that's kind of what I thought of. I'm like, oh, that's kind of like a cool Miles Davis thing he does. How can I make that into some, some language? That's it. That's kind of the gist of it. That is the, that is the secret sauce, right? Um, that's how you start developing language of your own. Now, this is something I created. You don't have to do the exact thing I created. You can use the starting notes, and maybe that starts to spark creativity, but you don't have to do exactly what I played to learn your own language. It's all can be personal. So whatever you're hearing is what you should be trying to express on your instrument and start developing those ideas. People have told me, I've, I've studied with some great people, and they say, like, don't get frustrated with this showing up in your playing. Sometimes it takes months for your brain to process all the stuff you're learning and for it to come out. Stick with no more than two separate lines. Just to, just start with a simple line and then maybe advance that simple line and just stick to those two, transpose them into all 12 keys and just keep working on those and, and then start implementing into standards you're practicing or any tunes that you're hearing, like those changes will work over, start playing that. That's it for this week. This, this lesson itself hits home for me. I know that this is something I continue to work on and develop. I need to. It's, it's so important to be able to kind of to know what you're going to play before it even, you even blow into your instrument or, or touch the keys um, or play the, play the guitar, whatever it is. It's so important to know what sound is going to come out before you even, you, you even touch your instrument, right? And this stuff is going to get into your ear so good where you're singing, you're hearing it, you're playing it, you're not going to be thinking when you're improvising. You're going to be free of that, of, of trying to analyzing stuff. That's where you want to be. You want to be free. Freedom in the groove, right? That Josh Redman album, like, is the title of that. Freedom in the groove. I mean, that was such a great title. Anyways, man, where am I going with that? Anyways, stay positive. Stay progressing. Appreciate the support. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you so much. You guys have a great one. Take care. Bye.